Hello, it is Plurus. Thanks for joining us again and welcome back to another informative video on our YouTube channel. I want to thank you for joining us. If this is your first time, we appreciate your time. On this episode today, we are in Guri Island. Have you ever been to Senegal or you've traveled to Dakar recently? When was the last time you heard about the Guri Island? It's an interesting place. For those of you who don't know, the Guri Island, as beautiful as it seems, the island of Guri is an exceptional testimony to one of the greatest tragedies in the history of human societies, the slave trade. The various elements of Guri, as you may see, is the memory of its island, the fortresses, the buildings, streets, squares, and so on, will recount each of its own way. The history of Guri, which from the 15th to the 19th century, was the largest slave trading center of the African coast. In this episode, we shall walk down to you with regards to the history of this untold story concerning Gori. So in this episode, by the end of this video as well, you will know much about Gori like never before seen. So without any much delay, we shall just go straight into it. The island of Gori lies off the coast of Senegal, opposite Dakar. From the 15th to the 19th century, it was the largest slave trading center on the African coast, ruled in succession by the Portuguese, later the Dutch and later the English and French. Its architecture is characterized by the transit and contrast between the grim slave quarters and also the elegant houses of the slave traders. Today, it continues to serve as a reminder of human exploitation as a sanctuary for reconciliation. In considering Gori, the island of Gori testified to an unprecedented human experience in the history of human of humanity, so to point out. Indeed, for the universal conscience, this memory about Gori Island is the symbol of the slave trade with its contage and also sufferings, tears and dirt. The painful memories of the Atlantic slave trade are characterized in the small islands of 28 hectares lying 3.5 kilometers off the coast from Dakar. Gori owns its singular destiny to the extreme centrality of its geographical position between the north and the south and to its excellent strategic position offering a safe haven for anchoring ships. Looking at Gori, the name Goodred, thus since the 15th century it has been prized by various European nations that have successfully used it as a stopover or slave market. First terminus of the Himodos looking at the different journey who drained the slaves from the hinterland. Gori was at the center of the revivalry between the European nations for control of slave trade. Until the abolition of the trade in the French colonies, the island was a warehouse consisting of over dozens of slave houses. In looking at this, among the tangible elements that reflect Gori's universal value are notably the castors, a rocky plateau the covered with uh, fortifications which dominates the island, the Riles de la Expedon, the former residence of the French governor that participated in this horrendous act during the time. The island of Gori is now a pilgrimage destination for the African diaspora a foyer for contact between the West and Africa, and also a space for exchange and dialogue between cultures through the confrontation of ideas and reconciliation and forgiveness. If you are new to our channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos so other people can know about the history of Guri Islands. The insular nature of Guri Island 
and an arsenal of legal text contributes to the physical integrity of the site. The Atlantic Ocean provides a natural buffer zone of nearly 4 kilometers. Listed as a historic site by the colonial administrations then in 1944, with specific safeguard measures, Gori has recorded no major construction since then that might adversely affect the authenticity of the site, the major components of which have remained almost intact. Moreover, the rehabilitation and restorations have been carried out essentially in accordance with principles of the conventions to see how this island could remain intact. The island of Guri was designated a historic site in 1944 with safeguarding measures as of 1954 under the colonial era. It was subsequently inscribed on the National Heritage List in 1975 with the orders and also the World Heritage List of 1978. As of 1979, a safeguarding committee was created by the order comprising of stakeholders to monitor compliance and also the conventions in making sure that everything is intact to this horrendous site that has been something that has inflicted mankind in a number of ways. An order for appointment of a site manager was drafted and also in currently in process that to review and making sure that this site is still intact. The replica of the Guri Memorial on the castle is an elo eloquent example of what should be avoided when preserving the integrity of sites. In considering that also, with UNESCO and modifications, looking at how this site has been and looking at its differences and what that the island been known to contribute in different ways. Goi changed hands several times from 1817 until Senegal's independence in 1960. It was under the control of France as early as 1848. Gori participated in French elections and it was represented in the French parliament during the half of the 20th century. The island's importance steadily declines with the rise of St. Louis and also Dakar on the mainland. If you are new to our channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. Several museums remain in colonial era fort attract tourists. There are different ways to consider that Gori has its own history. For those of you who have been to Gori, we would like to hear from you. We would like to know if you come from Senegal and what makes this island so strategic and the reason why you consider it looking at its history and what has affected mankind in a number of ways. Do you believe that Guri has the, what it takes for people to visit and to also learn something? We would also like to hear from the comment section. If you are just joining our channel for the first time, we want to thank you for watching. We are looking forward to meeting you in our next episode. We will encourage you to watch our other videos at the Explorer. Thank you so much. We are looking forward to meeting you in our next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.